what we're going to do now we first install rasa into our local system i used windows as my operating system if you are mac user and ubuntu user then i will be providing some links in the resources section so you can refer those link and download rasa into your local first let's create a environment virtual env what doing right here is that my all python dependencies are putting in that environment and it's loading my packages into this directory yep it's build my environment now i'm launching my virtual visual studio code for coding part this is the directory in which we are building all our code if i do pwd then it it is in d directory and there is a folder name chatbot let first check uh, what are the packages that i have in my local environment these were some packages that i have in my virtual environment now let's get started to download the rasa so here is the documentation of rasa you will find all the command line tools and we are in the rasa documentation right now you will see all the command that you can refer and use to install rasa into your local system first let's check what are the python version because rasa needs python 3.6 and 3.7 or 3.8 for run first check what are my python version so it's 3.7 that's fine now let's check my pip version it's 20.3.3 this is the command that you can use to upgrade your pip or install your pip if you are ubuntu user then uh, copy this command if you are mac user then use this one and if you are windows user use this command it says requirement already satisfied so we no need to install it one more time now let's create so because we are using anaconda navigator we don't need to create a virtual environment because we are using a virtual environment that's it okay now simply we can install rasa through this command pip install rasa yes. it take a little time for downloading in your system because i installed rasa in some another environment which is my base environment so it says that collecting these files from cache but in your case it will be downloading from the server so it take a little bit time in yours i think rasa is installed completely if you want to check that it installed in my local or not then simply write rasa it will pop up a window for you so i think it's working i'm pressing control c for getting outside of this window or you can simply say rasa dash dash help if it's showing you this output that means you install the rasa completely if you check out the version of rasa then you use this command 
dasa dash dash version you are using 2.2.1 version you are using rasa sdk version which is 2.2.0 and rasa x you have to install separately and python version is this okay now let's go back to the documentation and see what uh, documentation gives to us okay i told you before that while installing the rasa or building our chatbot you have to install some more dependencies which is spacy for installing the spacy in your local system you run this, these three commands first it will install your spacy library in your local system so i installed previously so it's showing me that requirement already satisfied The sec this command is used for installing Spacy model into your local system because backend Spacy uses Encore Web MD model for uh, doing natural language processing tasks. There are three types of model. First one is small model, second one is your medium model, and third one is your large model. If you want to install medium model, then you can add a prefix SM to it. If you want to install large model, then you can simply add prefix LG to it. I'm using medium because uh, it didn't take too much time for loading MD and for our purpose for just building the chatbot, it will help a lot. This Spacy model is now downloaded into your local file. So what we did until now that so this is the operating system that you have. In your operating system, one place is used for the Rasa framework and um, one thing that you install for Spacy, but these two things were not linked to each other right now. They were uh, placed in your operating system independent to each other. For linking these two things, we have to run this command. Or you can say that your spacy model is linked to an our English model and it will say that link en is already exist because I have been in my previous environment so that's why it's showing up this thing okay what's up next okay. We right now we are in just initial phase, so we don't need dependencies of mighty. 